Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a family for the high school years let's play that I'm going to be doing. So as you can see, I started with the mom, but I wanted to show you the teenager first. And the household is the Henson household. It's got three people in it. The mom, who is a single mom at this point. And I have a backstory where she got divorced recently. And then they decided to move to Copperdale with, um, she decided to move with her two kids who are twins. They're both uh, teenagers, but it's a boy and a girl. So here is Alexis, who, as you can see, I mean, I love her so much. I think she looks amazing. Uh, she looks a bit like a mean girl sort of thing, but she's not. She's supposed to be really into fashion and, you know, she wants to be popular, but she's not a mean sim. So yeah, that's that's the backstory. So I think her clothes are amazing. And, I, you know, a lot of the clothes that came with the pack really inspired me to you know create her whole look so she's got more of a 70s look inspired by that top which i absolutely loved and you know wanted to use as soon as it went on her and then those flared white jeans that yeah i think they look amazing i wanted to use those jeans for everything and everyone but obviously you know we gotta we gotta you know do a bit of everything and try a few things but this is her everyday wear so yeah alexis I love her so much. Uh, of course, she's got really cool nails on as well. So yeah, I kept those nails in the orange swatch that you'll see in a minute. For almost every outfit aside from the formal, which is more of a prom look, I also try to keep her makeup sort of the same for most outfits aside from formal and athletic wear because you'll see that I make her like a cheerleader. So from my experience in America, one year that I lived there, cheerleading outfits have really cool makeup and bows and it's all about, you know, looking amazing from afar. So I do give her that. But first is her formal, formal outfit, which will be her prom dress. I also gave her really good, I mean good, really cool makeup for this, uh, more of yeah, like a darker blue, I think I go for in the end, which matches the dress. I love that dress as well. And also the different hairstyle, just because, I don't know, it looks very prom-like, that one. So that's what I kept. I love, love, love that outfit. And then we go into the athletic wear, I think. Yeah. So as I said, she's going to be a cheerleader. The school colors are going to be like a black, red sort of thing. So that's the uniform that I give her. And again, I wish they had ponytails with big bows because that's what cheerleaders usually wear. So I did miss that a little bit. I did think about this ponytail, but then I thought it actually doesn't feel like her. So I kept the same hair, but just did this red eyeshadow on her, which I think looks amazing and goes great with the uniform and just a bit more makeup on her again. And that's the cheerleading outfit, which I think looks amazing. I love her so much. I think she looks really, really cool. And then, you know, just a couple more outfits, you know, uh, the usual sleepwear and stuff that is more normal. But I thought that also looks a bit like her. So that's what I went for. Party wear. Again, I wanted to feel a bit 70s still and that fashion icon sort of thing. That crop top is amazing. So I love it. And then for the trousers, I went back with some that I think are from university because the other ones just didn't really match as well so those in pink i think look really cool with that top so that's that's what i went for i really like that outfit as well even though it's not all from high school years but you know what can you do and then an all white bathing suit bikini because you know that's trendy isn't it i guess <laughs> so that's what i gave her very normal bikini and then for hot weather i also wanted to keep that i wanted to use some of the new items and also keep that almost 70s inspired fashion icon thing which is not really 70s but you know what i mean i think it looks quite cool i don't know i like it a bit formal but also party wear i don't know i think it fits for her style and what i want to do with her i guess and then for the winter wear i gave her this hoodie which is not super winter wear like for me like i feel like she'd still be quite cold but i did want to make her look great so that's what I went for in the end with some jeans and 
I think, yeah, just some trainers. Just like that. I think she looks really cool. Although, again, not great for the really cold weather if it snows. Just selecting some of her traits. So she's outgoing and creative. And then we go with her brother, which is basically... I doubled her sim. Like, I created a duplicate of her sim and just made it male because they're supposed to be twins. So I did want them to look basically almost exactly the same. Like, you could tell they're twins, not just brother and sister. So then that's what I did. And then his, his name is going to be William. So, yeah. And he's going to be an overachiever. So he's going to be a bit of everything. Like, he's good at the subjects. He's good at class stuff. But he's also good at sports. And he wants to be good at everything. So basically, that's William. An overachiever, which I think is one of the traits that came with the pack. And I'm also going to give him in the end. But his outfits were a bit more tricky. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I struggle a little bit with the male outfits usually, but especially the trousers. I feel like we still don't have really good, normal looking trousers. Like the guys that I see on the street don't have like the trousers they wear are not in the game yet. So I struggle with that a bit, but yeah. And again, I also gave him for the athletic wear, like a school inspired one because he's going to be in the football team as well. I think I'm still deciding, but I think so. So that fits. And then again, sleepwear, just one of those that you have to pick. And obviously I'm going much quicker with them because there is no makeup associated uh, in this case. So party wear, also try to play around with the new items. That jacket is quite cool. I decided to go for it in the green color with the orange top because I thought that looked nice. And the trousers are the same as for his everyday wear, just a different color. And then some trainers to make it look a bit more casual because I think those trousers are slightly dressier, but I tried it to make it look more casual. So that's what I did for him. And then you saw the swimwear and then summer wear. I wanted to use those shorts from the new pack, which I think are great, but I just didn't really see it. I didn't really feel like him. It was a bit too formal, I think. And then winter wear, I went with that hoodie, which looks the same as his uh, swimwear colors and patterns but you know bit 70s inspired or 80s actually 80s inspired but yeah quite like that so that's William he's active and an overachiever so yeah very excited to play with him and then again this is going to be their mom who I actually created first so both of them are built their genetics from her and an unknown father because I haven't created that sim but I did want to put her in the end just because I feel like for the purpose of high school years, everyone's more interested in the teenagers than the adults. So I wanted to put the teenagers first in the video and then create Rebecca, who is uh, the same that you're seeing right now. I love that hair, uh, not from the new pack, but I love that hair nevertheless. And I thought it looked good for her. The backstory, as I mentioned a little bit, she has been recently divorced from her husband and who I haven't thought of a name for it, but you know, someone, some guy somewhere who was quite well off. So he used to be the breadwinner. She didn't really have a job or she just did part-time jobs, that kind of thing. And now she's gonna have to work and start a new career in Copperdale to support her family. So they're gonna start with an okay house that I've also built, which is a starter home and it's an okay house. It's pretty good, but it's not, you know, not fully renovated, it doesn't have all the appliances and that kind of thing and yeah because they're gonna have a new life in Copperdale which makes sense because obviously when you create a family they start from scratch so that goes along with the storyline quite well love her everyday outfit as well with those jeans that I don't usually use but I wanted to use the same flare jeans for her but then I thought I can't really be having the mom and the daughter having the same jeans so I changed that up her formal wear I also really like that green color looks good on her for athletic wear she's got more like a cool mom you know mean girls style um sort of whatever that is called and then a bit of a robe here and her party wear is also a full like dress outfit sort of thing which I love actually. It's from the Get Get Famous pack. And I love that. I love that. It's in those colors, especially. 
it's one of my favorite things in the game in cast actually so yeah i gave her that and then yeah we don't have a lot left so yeah you'll you can see what i'm doing here but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll be having the starter home build soon after this and also the let's play so if you want to see what i do with the henson household then please subscribe and yeah just keep an eye out for when those videos come which will be quite soon hopefully in the next week or so thank you bye